Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about a chatbot inside React Native. We'll see how we can use or how we can implement a chatbot inside a React Native mobile application that is Android or iOS. So for that, we are going to use a Zendesk SDK, so which is uh, you know available for Android and iOS uh, native. But in order to use that SDK inside React Native, you just need to use the wrappers, which is we are going to discuss in uh, next part of this video. So for this video, I'm going to use a Groot starter kit. So which is I have already covered in previous video. I'll provide a link. If you haven't watched that video, just go and watch that video. So here you can see uh, we'll have uh, this icon, uh, boat icon basically. So I'll, I have created this and once you will tap on this, there will window open. So this is window is, you know, from Zendesk SDK. So you can see uh, mostly like you have used in another app, mobile applications or web applications, there's a chatbot that you can interact with and it will ask for detail or something like this. So there's a two options, you know, talk to a human or reset password. So it's an example. So if you tap on this reset password, then so this is automatically predefined that we need to add the admin portal. So I'll explain in next part of video how we can do that. It's asking like, uh, do you still have access to the your email address? And you can say yes or no, whatever selection you want to wait, you can do that. So for example, I'll say no, I don't have. So I'll ask another information. Okay, so it's, it's asking for name. So I'll provide something here and then email ID and It'll provide this information. That's that. And uh, this is just a uh, basic example. You can create your answer, whatever you want, predefined question and the answer and uh, uh, the bot will interact with your customers, your users, and uh, uh, you will get whatever information. So if you have a frequently asked question, then definitely you can cover here uh, with the help of this chatbot. Okay, so let's let's see how we can uh, implement this chatbot inside our React Native mobile application. And uh, before moving forward, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and like this video as well. And let's get started now. First of all, you just need to open a Zendesk.com and from here you can create a free trial account. For that, like you just need to provide a basic information, whatever they required, and you just need to enter. Basically, they will ask for a company name and you just uh, need to add that company name and uh, your email ID and uh, some other information. And so once you will uh, do that, they will send you a confirmation email. And after that, they will send you an e link. Once you will tap on that link, then you will be uh, uh, landed here. And uh, here you will have this link, your company name dot zendesk.com and an admin. So this is an admin panel where you can, uh, you know, manage your uh, channels and messaging and all the stuff. So you can see here uh, channels, uh, when you'll open this, there, there will be a messaging and social inside the messaging, you'll tap here. So this window will open. So you can see there's only web, web widgets, but we are doing it for mobile Android and iOS. So it's not required here. So for that, you just need to open this and you can see there's a multiple options. So you can select like Android and iOS. Uh, let's start with an iOS first. I'll tap on iOS then there will be uh, some basic information that you need to provide. So channel name, let's say decoding studio next. So here's channel ID that required. You just need to copy for later use and just press next. Here you can, you know, customize your uh, color that will shown on your mobile application. So let's say mm, blue, uh, blue is my favorite color. So I'll, pick a blue color and then uh, title that you want to appear on that uh, chat board. So it will be a decoding studio. Okay, that's it. If I tap on next button, then you'll see some other information. And so basic, so let's go, uh, go through from this. And this is a primary color, message color, like you can change, customize whatever you want from here. And then, okay, that's the basic things. And then responses. Okay, this is something that we need to do. I'll, I'll do that later. And then notification and then authentication. You can add a, a user authentication for that. Like user need to enter a username and password in order to you know uh, get that board, but we don't need that here as well. And then channel ID. And after that, uh, uh, we need to come here in the responses section. And here you will see this add board, okay. So you just need to tap on add board button 
you will see uh, this so let's skip this in board section so you just need to add your first board okay i'm going to add here so you need to give a name uh, something so let's say dcs um bot and brand name is already decoding studio after that you just need to create a bot here so once you tap on that but uh, cta so you'll see this predefined thing so you can uh, customize like you can create answer data as well so so you can see there's a something like talk to human reset password this is inactive and this is ready for publish so let's say let's uh, make it live first so you just need to make it live in order to uh, use it so you will open the chat board there will, there will be hint like talk to a human or something like this so once you'll tap on this done okay so you can see here publish board so you can publish this board okay so let me publish so for that you just need to uh, select what widget or where you want to so definitely we want ios so i'll check ios one and your robot is live hi and same i will make reset password uh, active as well so this is a predefined you can create your own as well so i'm going to publish it as well uh okay so as you can see it has some error so we'll figure out let's go through from this so first first of all it's a reset it will show a hint on chat board like what do you want then uh, you can press a reset password then uh, it will ask like do you still have access to your email address and there will be two option if you select yes then it will show you great you can reset your password at this you need to insert your link here the user can uh, reset their password maybe like in your mobile application there will be a reset uh, password so you can redirect the user to there as well and same with this as well so if uh, user press no then uh, it will say this message and after that you just need to provide as you can see they are asking for some information so it will be a name and email address you can change like you know uh, you can ask other information as well and uh, so once you will provide the information then board will say thanks let me connect you with the customer support agent so this is something a reset password thing okay so i'm just going to delete this step because uh, we don't need this for testing purpose so you can see once i delete that because that was in incomplete we need to have provide some answers or some other details so i'm not going to uh, stretch it so i'm just going to delete it from here uh so let me uh, publish this now and you can see two things are live now okay and then after that we'll go to this tab here so you can see here like this will be the grading master like when uh, you'll user will tap on chat button and chat board will open then there there will be a message hi there got a question i'm here to help and there will be a suggestion talk to human but i would like to add another suggestion so um let's say reset password <clears throat> so you can see we already have whatever uh, you know board answers we provided here so this will be available here so you can choose and same with this reset password so this is something like uh, whenever you have entered and board is not able to understand then it will show again these two options okay and i'm just going to publish this okay a bot is ready so when you will open this and open this you will see uh dcs bot live here okay if it is showing here in a uh, green color live then it means like your bot is ready for use so in order to install in ios and android app you just need to uh copy a channel id for android okay i'm just going to copy it for android you just need to create one more uh, channel from here so you just you can create an android channel from here but i'm not going to do because i'm just uh, going to test it on ios devices only so you can do it all the steps will be same zendex only provide native android and ios uh, sdk so in order to uh, use uh, these sdk inside the react native mobile applications so you need to use a wrapper so someone has created a wrapper which is uh, i feel like it's good because uh, last published last month so i think this is the latest one so i'm just going to copy i'm just going to use this one and i just need to add the first a uh, cta uh, button okay let's say uh, chat bot button 
I'm just going to create a button here. Just need to provide a style. Mm, okay, and first of all, position. Position will be absolute and um bottom should be bottom should be 10 and right should be 10 and height i'm giving a static one right now 60 width <clears throat> background color let's say um, white not white let's say black okay and after that inside this i just we just need to create a uh, inside that i'll add a uh, image for that i need to import i've already created i've already added a icon here you can see chat icon and i have imported chat icon here as you can see so i just need to use this one so let's say okay so we just need to create a image let's say image from react native and inside that i just need to provide a source so we already have a uh, icons that we have created icons from constants and chat okay and then need to provide a style as well Mm, let's say height should be mm, 50 and width should be 50 as well what else uh, let's say border radius uh, 30 so we'll make it circle and then uh, we need one more thing actually uh, let's say on press so on press let's say alert pressed okay okay so let's uh, quickly run it now okay so our chatbot is ready um, let me make it center Okay, so let me actually copy touchable pastry from React Native. And okay, so it's pressed now. Now we need to open chatbot on press of this. So let me uh, first install install this wrapper. So you just need to copy and uh, you just need to install this package. Okay, pad package is installed. Uh, we need to install port so we can use it. And you can do it uh, CD iOS port as well. Okay, our port is also installed. Now you just need to copy this import, paste it. So basically we, the package we have installed. So first of all, we just need to initialize this. So for that, I'll use uh, react.use effect. So basically, we will do it on componented mount. And here, uh, you just need to initialize. And you just need to pass, as you can see, a channel ID. So you can make a check here as well. Like if your platform is, uh, well, means like you are you are using Android, then you need to pass Android. Uh, channel ID otherwise you need to pass iOS. So we are just doing it for only for iOS right now So we'll get that uh, ID from here uh, Decoding studio this one and from From installation you can copy this and you will you, you, you will pass it here. Okay So once you are done this and now it's initialized. So after that you need to call this mess uh, uh, show messaging on top of this so we'll replace with this alert show messaging and you just need to call it 
just save it and let's see how they have done as you can see here from show messaging they are calling okay that's it so now we just need to close our uh, package here so we can because we have uh, installed our uh, package because we have installed the package we need to do it again okay so app successfully built so let's open it and it should work on press of this icon oh you can see decoding studio and here is a greeting message and we had the two answers talk to a human and reset password so once i'll tap on this reset password it'll ask if i'll say yes then great you can reset your password or um, whatever link will if we have provided here then it will be shown here so that's all about uh, this video and uh, if you you know really like this video don't for forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, thank you very much